Hey, how's it going guys? Captain Cuba here and welcome to another God of War video. First of all, sorry if I seem sleepy. I pretty much woke up like 30 minutes ago. I'm still a little bit groggy, so I'm fine. I know I look like crap, but I'm not sick. I'm just sleepy still. But anyway, yesterday I was supposed to cover a lot of God of War Ragnarok news that came out of nowhere. But um, a lot of things happened yesterday that made my day somewhat interesting. Kanarihi and I got a new cat, and believe it or not, she the new cat actually ran away, and we were looking for her for like an hour. We finally found her. She was in a bush, just hiding near our apartment, uh, our, our, uh, our building, right? But anyway, it doesn't matter. Then Game Informer, out of nowhere, shows this cover art for God of War Ragnarok, and apparently they're covering, covering the whole game for the whole month. And it, it immediately I started to analyze, I'm like, oh, what does the meteorite mean? What's this water monster thing like i just start thinking about it and then i hear that in an hour they're gonna we're gonna show an art that we're gonna release the article with gameplay information in it and i'm like oh okay let me scrap this video and wait for the article then i find out that there's a gameplay trailer kind of then i i, I hear that you can get the magazine when i try to get it it's not available for canadians then i try to get it on my phone and there's a glitch there's a lot of things that happened that just made it really... There were roadblocks for me to read this whole new information. So I just took a break and waited until today to do this whole video. And I can safely say after reading the magazine is that you don't necessarily need to buy it. It's like $6, I think. I don't think you need to. It's not that important what you're going to get there. If anything, just read the article I'm going to post in the link below. That's where most of the important information is. So with this video, I didn't want to read everything in the magazine or everything in the article. I just wanted to talk about the two main things I learned from God of War Ragnarok that I think will interest you guys. The first one is the shields. So back in September when we saw the shields, I was initially really scared because I thought this was just going to be more RPG elements in the sense that, oh, now you have to collect shields and each shield, each shield does its own different thing or something, right? But thankfully, that is not the case. It seems like the whole shield changing shield aspect has a lot of mechanics that has me really excited so far we know of only two new shields the dauntless and the stone wall the dauntless shield is for parry lovers essentially what happens when wielding the shield is that if you parry at the very last minute the shield will glow red and this will indicate the player that they can do like a, a move that stuns and tosses enemies around so if you love to parry definitely go with the stone wall sorry the the Dauntless Shield. Now, the Stonewall Shield is really interesting. For, first of all, you cannot parry at all with this shield. All you can do is just bring it out, and the more kinetic energy it absorbs from all the hits, a bar fills up, and then Kratos can do that smash move you saw in the September trailer. But it has a catch. The more hits it takes, the more unstable it becomes, and the more hits Kratos is open to receive. This is cool because you're going to be able to change shields throughout the game, apparently. And this makes me think that... These aren't different shields. I think these the Guardian shield is still there. It's just that now it has different abilities or like uh, designs. So how it opens. So you have like the more uh, square shield and you have the Dauntless, which is more round. So I think these are just going to be abilities you unlock later on in the game. And what's cool about this is that it seems like you're going to be able to change in between them in combat itself. And this gives me a lot of Doom Eternal vibes, and I really like it. That whole thing of like always thinking about in gameplay in real time, like, oh wow, I gotta pull, I gotta pull out the Dauntless Shield because I'm fighting uh, a troll or something, and he hits a lot, so I need that kinetic energy. Or hey, there's a lot of Draugrs here, I'm gonna pull the Parry Shield. So I love that. I love that you're gonna have to think in gameplay as to which tools you're gonna use. That's what I like about games. I don't really like stats as much, but I like mechanics. I like to think about things on the spot right sorry for hitting the mic <laughs> so that's the first thing i want to talk about the other thing is the weapon signature moves so in god of war 2018 the triangle button pretty much had only one purpose if you throw the axe you would press the triangle button and then kratos would recall the axe back once you had the axe in kratos's hand triangle wouldn't do anything if you have the blades of chaos you would press triangle and he would bring out the axe again so triangle pretty much only had that purpose and it was fine i think that purpose was fine and it's coming back uh once you throw the axe and you press triangle the axe will still return that ability is still intact but there's gonna be more stuff now the triangle button is tied to every to every weapon in the game so far of course we only know of the leviathan axe and the blades of chaos so when you have the leviathan axe and you throw it you press triangle you call it back that's not new 
But once you have it in hand and you press triangle, the game gives you an option to use a fire or ice attack. Once again, it's giving you that, you know, all of, the, all of these tools for you to play around in the combat. So if you're, if you see some fire weaklings or something, like enemies that are weak to fire is what I meant to say, you would bring out the axe and use ice and attack those enemies. I mean, like, for fire. You know what I mean, right? Like, depending on the enemies, enemies you're attacking, like, you would change the moves in the axe, right? They didn't get into specifics about the Blades of Chaos. They didn't even mention them at all, what the signature moves of the Blades is. But I'm willing to bet it has something to do with that grapple thing we saw in the September trailer and as well as the grapple for traversal. I think that's what the triangle button will do for the Blades. But that has yet to be confirmed. There are other things I could talk about, but these are more tiny details that they just didn't get into that much. I got the sense that the game is going to be a lot more bloody. There's a mention in the in the article of, a, of Kratos throwing the axe at an explosive pot, and when it blows up, you can see scaly appendages from the Grimms just flying around. So, old school God of War games who wanted more blood in the in the in God of War Ragnarok, I think they're going to be getting it. So that's cool. There's also a mention of Atreus having a sonic arrow that pulsate energy. It, I don't think we've seen footage of that yet. So there's a lot of things to be excited about. The main two things were the shield and the signature moves. I think these are amazing changes to people who love RPGs and people who love mechanics. It's like it's striking a nice middle balance. I like that. And I can't wait to play around with more shields. It sounds incredibly fun. So I know most of you who follow me mostly follow me because of my lore content and for one thing I'm taking a break from making theories and stuff but with this update there wasn't much about story there's more about like you know what the story is going to be about you know what's the main drive behind the story stuff like that I don't think that's stuff that really interests you guys it doesn't really interest me that much anyway um, there's nothing there's no new revelations that I can talk about there's something about Tyr supposedly supposedly being a peaceful god, but we all knew that Tyr was the god of war. He got into battles. He's peaceful as long as he can be peaceful. If there's need for war, there needs to be war. It's kind of like that. It's not nothing new. This was mostly a gameplay update, which was much needed. Was it good? Yeah. Would I have preferred to watch a video? Definitely. I still hope we get a state of play in the near future, but... You never know, we might be getting a showcase as well. Um, but everything is looking good, the game is looking really good. People called it a, a DLC to God of War 2018, and while it looks similar, you can definitely see that they've changed some things around, and I love the shields, I love, now I know, now I love the shields, I love the new signature moves uh, mechanic. This, just sounds ama this sounds amazing, and I can't wait to play the game. But yeah, this is gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah. Of course, I want to thank all of my members for supporting the channel monthly. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for supporting the channel even when I take breaks because depression just hits me or I'm just, I'm not in the mood to do something. So I just, thank you guys. I don't deserve you. I really don't. And yeah, thank you all who like and share my videos. It doesn't seem like much, but it really does help. And yeah, with that said, thanks for watching. And remember, go forth in the name of Ragnarok.